So our gym has been a little too small for a while now, and when your gym is too small, you've got to get a bigger gym. And we have someone here that is a professional at that. Duke the Destroyer! That felt like it was a lot bigger than that. <laughs> Gravel is all laid down. We got about four inches of it. We're gonna tamp it now. Then comes the sand and the pavers. So it's coming along real nice. This outdoor gym is gonna be finished before we know it. Once you get an idea to build something, then most people wanna put it on paper, at least put it up here, which we did. So to expand the current gym into another facility, outdoor facility, that's almost gonna be the same size and actually bigger. So the first thing we had to do is figure out where it went. Obviously it's a good place we put these French doors in that allowed a nice wide opening to move equipment in and out if possible or if necessary. So once that's done, we stake out the area where we want, which is basically a little over 500 square feet. At that point, we excavate what we need to level it out, kind of rudimentary, because it's just soil at that point, bring in some gravel, stake it out, get the squareness of it, and then compact, we did two compactions of this gravel, this three quarter minus, compacted the first layer. We want it really sturdy for when the weights fall and drop. Put another layer, leveled that out, compacted the shit out of it, and then now at this point, we're putting in the perimeter, which is gonna have this nice look of kind of this like, I don't know, to me it's like medieval kind of look. It's like these giant six by six timbers. They're pressure treated, so they're gonna last a long, long time. At that point, we're gonna put some paper sand down and put these giant 20 inch by 20 inch pavers in. That's gonna give it another kind of good look. We opted out of concrete just simply because concrete's really expensive right now. Obviously, there's a lot of labor into doing the pavers, which is, is not a problem with us because we don't mind labor, right? Buff dudes loves labor. So at this point, we're squaring up everything, leveling out these six by sixes. We're driving rebar through them to anchor them in. And then a privacy fence will go around it. So it's nice private area. I'm thinking maybe in the heat of the summer, some misters overhead. Just go oh, You got this pump, this badass pump. You're sweating and the misters are hitting you. And it's like the greatest feeling in the world and this facility will provide that again want to mention rubber matting down for the weights dropping and that sort of thing it's going to look awesome when it's done <laughs> been three weeks there's a lot of work put into this but we are finished with the gym add-on I'm gonna open up the garage door we're gonna take a little tour we're pretty excited it's done we're pumped we're about to get a workout in the Sun the fresh air look at this thing yeah we've been waiting a long time it's been feeling like we've been working out in a storage shed the past couple years because it's just been so full which I think is really easy to do at the gym you want to keep put more equipment keep putting more equipment we learned our lesson. We're gonna try to keep it pretty minimal this time. Here is the outdoor section. We have the prone row. We're gonna be able to do some great back exercises on this one. We've got the half rack. We've got our calf raise machine. Of course, dumbbells, barbells. We've got some kettlebells. That is pretty much as much as we're gonna put out here for the most part. Um, but there is a little bit more room left. So let us know what we're missing, please comment tell us what we should put out here that we don't have that we need to have and we're going to be getting this workout in in our new buff dudes bigfoot t-shirt he was in fact a buff dude hell yeah he was two colors grab them at www.buffdudes.us www.buffdudes.us that's www.buffdudes.us www.buffdudes.us <laughs> yeah <laughs> 
awesome about working out in the sun, the fresh air. The add-on came out to be about 500 additional square feet, which is almost the size of our original home gym. So we've got about double the space now. It's feeling damn good. One thing that's missing is more mirrors. We only got one right now, but we're getting you more. We plan on doing a hell of a lot more backyard workouts in our new gym add-on. But if that's not enough for you, you can join our newly created Buff Club. It's our membership option on our YouTube. If you join, you get access to our videos a couple days before everyone else. You get exclusive live workouts. You can chat with us, you can work out with us, and some custom emojis and avatars. Join the Buff Club, baby. No gym at home would be complete without a sound system. Oh, you can see we got a pretty big one. We've got three of these bad boys. We're gonna crank it today, but I think eventually what we're gonna do, build a little platform right here, set them. So if we're deaf within the next three years, you're gonna know why. <laughs> or the neighbors. Or the neighbors. <laughs> Fuck them. <laughs> Ah! It's like Tarzan and the Great White Ape. <laughs> <laughs> The French invented these doors specifically for Brandon so he could finally get his laps through something. It's too big. Too big. <laughs> Wow, that is a fantastic t-shirt, Brandon. Where did you get that? It's funny you should ask. I actually got it at www.buffdudes.us. I'm gonna pick one of those up. You definitely should, they're so cool. You know what else is cool? We finished our first workout yeah. in the backyard gym add-on. It felt damn good. Sun, got a pump. Can't get better than that. Hell no, it can't. But let us know what pieces of equipment we're missing. We can still put a few gym equipment items in here. Until next time, see you for the next backyard workout. Steve.